This god is the god of uh, marriage. Maybe I should donate to him so I can find a girlfriend soon. Okay, I'm donating. I'm donating one ringgit to the to the god of marriage. Hope I find a girlfriend soon. <laughs> Lol. So this temple is not a full Buddhism temple. This temple worships the goddess, the Tenho goddess. Okay, for so for dinner, I'm back at the Lot Ten Hutong, um, which is like a food court for street food. So I got the chili by me for um, for dinner from the King King. So there is some minced pork. Some fried and toby. And the egg yolk. Let's break it up. Oh yeah. Let's mix it all together. Then the chili, fried chili sauce. Not going to put too much at first. The chili sauce is what makes it so good. Nice and fragrant and not too spicy. And it's a little crispy as well, the fried chili. Anchovy is, is very crunky. It's uh, fried anchovies. The noodles is it's got a perfect texture. Nice and chewy. The anchovies are definitely very salty. So like the main flavors come from the anchovies and the chili sauce. The, the fried minced meat doesn't have much flavor, just maybe it's just maybe soy sauce. The main flavor is just the, it's from the salty anchovies. This is nice. I think I need more I need more chili in there. I dump the whole thing in. Yeah, the extra chili is good. It's not that spicy, so don't be afraid to stuff in a hole. Whole lot in gives it a lot more flavor. Second stop, getting some chocolate gel. 
Apparently this one is uh, really famous, so we're going to try it out. This place is actually very crowded. Everyone's waiting for the chow kui gyao. Second stop. Second stop got my Penang dot egg chocolate gel. Quite a big play for chocolate bring it. Just like uh, Chinese sausage, prawns, duck eggs. And oh, there's a little bit of. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if this is um, oysters or like small mussels. Chives and bean shoot. Oh yeah, that's really good. Let's see what this is. Oh yeah, that's some kind of seafood. I think it's a mussel or some kind of Shellfish. It's got a really nice sea seafood flavor. Yeah, it's good stuff. You can really taste the the wok flavor. It's like the charred what flavor? Close chili sauce. <laughs> Shit, choke on chili. The rice noodles got a really nice texture. Not like some places they have it very watery. This one is very dry. Look at the plate. There's no no water, no no water dripping out at all. Just dry. That's where you know it's a good a good chocolate gel. And for dessert, I've got some durian ice kachang which is a shaved ice with some uh, red bean roasted peanuts the um, pandan jelly herb, herbal jelly um, condensed milk and corn Oh yeah, that's really good. And also inside, there's some um, black sugar syrup. It's not too sweet, even though you think with all the condensed milk and all the other toppings, it'll be super sweet, but it's actually quite all right. Especially if you mix it up, because the ice on the bottom doesn't have any flavor. So if you mix it up, it'll just balance it out. Also the roasted peanuts, they're a little bit salty, so it kind of balances out the sweetness. Oh yeah. 
and it's also topped with some um, durian puree. Which gives it a nice, nice kick, nice flavor. And also this shape that is not as, as chunky as the other ones. It's actually quite smooth. You don't really have to chew. It just kind of melts in your mouth once you, once you bite into it. I love these green jellies. Okay, so right now I'm lining up to go up to the Petronas Twin Towers. So before you enter, I have to go for a security check. So right now we're heading into the elevator and up onto the bridge. So right now we're onto the sky bridge. Wow, check out that view. It is uh, around 7 p.m. and it's not quite dark yet. Oh wow, well, check out that sunset. Apparently right now is a perfect time to come up and visit the tower. Yeah, it's quite cloudy today so the sunsets are as, pr as impressive. But it's still quite pretty regardless. Oh shit, there's a lot of smoke over there. I don't know if something's on fire. Okay, so right now we're heading to the observation deck. So now we just arrived at the observation deck and it is level 83rd and I can already feel some feel the air pressure changing my ears and it just feels like you're on a plane you now we're on a plane then your ears are in pain when um, when taking off yeah that's the kind of feeling There's another elevator. I'll have to take another elevator to the observation deck. So the actual observation deck is actually on the 86th floor. Check out the view now. And that's, it. that's the other half of the tower. I get to spend 15 to 20 minutes on here before they kick me out. So. so that green tower is the Kuala Lumpur tower. I don't think I'll go there this time, but apparently you get a different view from up there than the twin towers. Now that it's fully dark, it looks a bit better than before. Um, I finished the uh, Twin Tower tour pretty early, so I came out uh, and came out to the Chaos City Park, and the fountain is looking really nice at the moment. Wow, check that out.
this guy just doesn't want to move. He's been standing there for like 10 minutes. No one else is staying in the front and this guy, this guy has to stand in front of everyone. I don't even know. So everyone just like, you know, sitting on the side, side of the, just side of the fountain. No one's actually inside. Uh-huh. 